there, this is Shannon from SIS, the number four teachers.org. Thanks so much for joining us today in our second video on helping understand the progression of multiplication. In a previous video, if you haven't seen it, feel free to check it out on our YouTube channel with the handle at SIS, the number four teachers. We discuss the importance of starting off multiplication using the area model. We're going to help you in your classroom to transition your students from using the area model with partial products to only using partial products. I like to kind of have kids make the connection between one concept and the other. We hope that after your class watches this video, whether it's together as a lesson launch or if you're using this video in a flipped classroom style and having your students understand the connection between the area model and partial products to just partial products, that you do some more examples with your kids to help them to understand it. As we transition from partial products with the area model, we're going to just go into partial products itself, which is going to help us move towards understanding that traditional method. So here I'm going to stack the problem in more of a traditional method. Here we were kind of really using more of the decomposing through place value and kind of going through the parts as we were looking at it. But in this part, I'll kind of go through the motions as we're seeing it with the area model, but just showing it how to do it in the partial products view. So if we start off first looking at our seven times three, which we saw the seven times three over here, we're gonna just put all of our totals at the bottom. So we know that seven times three equals 21. It's really important that you're lining up your numbers accurately as you're doing it. Now, some students might say three times two, but is that really three times two? Let's look over here. Three times, oh, it's actually three times 20. So three times 20, we know equals 60. So we've gone through and used our ones place with the ones place and the tens place. Now it's time to move over to the tens place and make sure we go into the ones and the tens. So now we don't wanna say two times seven because what is that actually? Oh, it's 20 times seven. So 20 times seven, we know from our previous problem was 140. The last part that we're going to do is 2 times 2, but is it 2 times 2? No, it's 20 times 20. So 20 times 20, as we look at over here, we know totals 400. Now let's see, if I were to add all of this together, am I still indeed going to get the same that I got over here when I explained this using it with the area model? So let's add this up together as we're solving this, and I'm going to see that I ended up with 6. 621 because 6 plus 4 is 12 plus 2 more or 6 plus 4 is 10 plus our 2 more gives us our 12 we can kind of add that regroup over here and I know that 400 plus 100 plus our new 100 gives me 621. Are you making the connection? Do you see how the area model is a really great step for us to start to learn the multiplication? But as we start to move this, we wanna move children into the idea of understanding it with partial products. You can even see that if I added these totals here, I'm still getting exactly what I was doing in partial products to help me make sense of that, right? Once we've learned this and kids have had lots and lots of practice, we want you to try to do this with higher numbers. You know, maybe it's 127 times 23. Moving up with using partial products of the area model, just using the partial products, and then moving into the traditional way, which would be looking at it by pulling all of these things together. We're gonna to use what we learned though in partial products with the area model and what we learned with actual partial products to help us understand what's going on in the traditional. We hope that you found our video helpful to use in your classroom with your students to help them understand the difference between partial products with the area model and how to developmentally transition that to just using partial products. Our next video that you'll be able to see is going to help you pick all these pieces and tie it into the traditional method. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel with the handle at SIS, the number four teachers dot just teachers and you'll find lots of tutorial videos that will help you out. Thanks so much for joining us.